Earth Day Hooray by Stuart J. Murphy. This place is a mess, said Ryan. That's why we're cleaning it up, said Carly. Come on, pitch in. The Maple Street School Save the Planet Club was cleaning up Gilroy Park, the site of this year's Earth Day celebration. They picked up candy wrappers, crumpled newspapers, empty coffee cups, old flyers, lost tennis balls, and lots of aluminum cans. You know, said Ryan, even after we've finished cleaning the park, it won't look all that great. It could really use some flowers at the entrance. Gilroy Park had a few trees and some grass, and that was it. In 1999, recycling and composting kept about 64 billion tons of trash from ending up in landfills or being burned, which pollutes the air. If we take all these cans to the recycling center instead of throwing them away, Ryan continued, they'll give us money for each can. Maybe we can make enough to buy some flowers to plant. Mrs. Watson, the club advisor, thought Ryan's idea was fantastic. She said, if you can get 5,000 cans, that should be enough for some really beautiful flowers. I bet we won't find that many, said Luke. Companies pay recyclers about $1 billion a year to buy aluminum. The club sorted all the cans they found. Ryan, Carly, and Luke filled small bags with 10 cans each. When they had 10 small bags, they put them in a big bag that held 100 cans, so they would be easier to count. They ended up with three big bags of 100, five small bags of 10, and nine single cans. They left the bags near the trash bins so that Mrs. Watson could pick them up that evening. That's a total of 359. I knew we wouldn't get 5,000. But the next morning at school, Mrs. Watson called Ryan, Carly, and Luke to her desk. Bad news, she said. The trash collector at the park didn't realize the cans were for recycling. He took them to the dump with the rest of the trash. I knew it, said Luke. I knew we'd never do it. Don't give up, said Ryan. We can still collect cans. We'll have a can drive right here at school. I don't know, said Luke doubtfully. It will only work if a lot of people bring in cans. Americans use more than 80 billion aluminum cans a year. Americans save 247 million pounds of paper every day to be reused and recycled. It takes only 60 days for an aluminum can to be turned in, melted down, and made into a new can. In the year 2000, Americans recycled more than 1,500,000 pounds of plastic bottles. The custodian, Mrs. Jones, set up a barrel in the hallway. Luke made a big sign. Mrs. Watson helped Ryan print up a flyer announcing their goal. Carly drew a cartoon. Earth Day Hooray! Cans Recycled So Far Zero Help us reach our goal of 5,000 and plant flowers in Gilroy Park. The next day, a few kids brought in cans. After school, Ryan, Carly, and Luke went to check out the barrel. They sorted the cans into bags. They had five small bags of 10 and six single cans. That makes 56. We'll never get anywhere at this rate. Carly wrote 56 on the sign. We need to get more kids to help, she said. Carly, Luke, and Ryan got permission to visit every class and ask for help with the can drive. Carly worked all night so she would be ready. In the year 2000, Americans recycled 1,900,000,000 pounds of aluminum. The first Earth Day celebration was on April 22, 1970. About 20 million people participated. After school, Ryan, Carly, and Luke stopped at every park and field and picked up every can they saw. The next morning, Ryan, Carly, and Luke brought their cans to school. They went by the barrel to drop them off. Look at all these cans, said Carly. I knew it would work. 
At recess, they counted the cans. They ended up with six big bags of 100, three small bags of 10, and five single cans. That's 635, even more than we had at the park. Carly wrote the total on the sign. Mrs. Watson walked by. You're going to need bigger bags, she said. I'll bring some in tomorrow. And we had 56 yesterday, so add it up, it's 691. When Ryan, Carly, and Luke checked the barrel the next day, it was overflowing. We'd better ask Mrs. Jones for some more barrels, said Carly. They had one bag of 1,000, four bags of 100, eight bags of 10, and three single cans. That's 1,483. Carly wrote the total on the sign and remembered to put a comma between the thousands and the hundreds. When we add it to what we already had, it's 2,174. That's still a long way from 5,000. Ryan, Carly, and Luke kept working. Luke put signs up all over school. On Saturday, the members of the Save the Planet Club knocked on every door in the neighborhoods. They handed out Ryan's flyer and carried big bags for people's empty cans. Recycling one aluminum can saves enough energy to keep a 100 watt light bulb burning for about three and a half hours. On Monday morning, Ryan, Carly, and Luke couldn't dump their cans in the collection barrels because they were already full. At recess, they counted cans. By the time recess was over, they still weren't done. Mrs. Watson said they could skip spelling to finish counting. And you didn't think this was a good idea, Carly teased Luke. Great! No spelling today! Finally, they finished. They had two huge bags of 1,000, eight big bags of 100, five small bags of 10, and two single cans. That's almost 3,000. It's 2,852, to be exact. Luke wrote the numbers down. We did it, he shouted. And with the 2,174 we had before, it's 5,026. Mrs. Watson took the cans to the recycling center right after school, and Saturday morning she drove Carly, Luke, and Ryan to the plant nursery. They each picked out flowers in their favorite colors. That afternoon, the whole class came to Gilroy Park for the Earth Day celebration. The first thing they did was plant the flowers at the entrance. The park looked beautiful, and there wasn't a single piece of trash anywhere.